Hey there guys, welcome to my second episode of Ask Sophie. Now before I start this episode, I do want to say that I've gotten a puppy and he is in that crate back there right there. And so if you hear him whining and stuff, it's because he's in there. So I'm going to look down because I'm reading off of my laptop. The first question is from It's All, and it is, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is brown because it reminds me of chocolate. Second question is from Allie Bulldog, and it is, what dressing do I put on my salad? I'm one of those oddballs who don't like dressing on my salad. I just like to savor the flavor of the vegetables. I don't know if that's weird. Let me know in the comments if you don't like dressing too. <laughs> this next question is from XO Love Beauty XO, and it is, what is my favorite drink? My <laughs> that was the dog's toy, I promise. I really love smoothies. I love berry smoothies. So yeah. This next question is from Twitter and it is from Aishi. I think that's how you pronounce your name. Hi Sophie, in which part of the world do you stay? I live in the United States in Oklahoma. What is your ethnicity? I am Armenian. Aliyah Valencia asks, where am I from? I was born in the country of Georgia, which is in Eastern Europe. And when I was five years old, I moved to Los Angeles, California. I lived in Los Angeles, California from age five to age 19. And then at age 19, I moved to Oklahoma. How old am I? I am 24 years old. Oh yes, Jess asks, if I were to get a dog, what breed of dog would I get? Well, I was never really overly um, picky about this just because I've always been a cat person and now I just randomly have a dog. Throughout my life, I always loved Basset Hounds, St. Bernard's, and English Bulldogs. I love dogs with droopy faces because they look really sad and adorable. But yeah, I didn't end up getting those because, I don't know, we just decided that our current dog would be a better fit for us. Megan Rogers asks, where did I get the containers for the concealer and the solid perfume, etc.? I got those tin containers from Brambleberry. I will include a link to their website in the description box below. Juliana Mejia asks, if I could do a collaboration video with anyone, who would it be? My dream person isn't really DIY or beauty related. I am just absolutely in love with Anna Okano. Like, I just, I love her videos. She's just amazing and extremely intelligent and funny. The Chronicles of Nikki asks, how do you save lots of money to buy beauty products and still have money for insurance in your house and educational, <laughs> all of that stuff at the same time? The way that I save money is I try to buy everything that I can from the drugstore. And then if I absolutely cannot find the level of quality that I'm looking for at the drugstore, then I'll move on to Sephora and the more, you know, pricier brands and things like that. Jordi Gilly asks, what is the concealer and foundation that I use? I use the MAC Pearl Longwear Concealer and the Revlon Color Stayed Liquid Foundation. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna take the dog out for a second. I will be right back. Okay. Ooh, it was wind outside. Look who came to visit, guys. My puppy. Mm -mm. Well, Consuela Costas asks, what are some good drugstore mascaras that you can wash off easily? My ultimate favorite mascara is the CoverGirl Lash Wash Volume because it washes off so well. Now, if you don't have CoverGirl where you live, you can also try out Lash Stiletto by Maybelline. That one washes off really easily as well. And I also like Voluminous by L'Oreal. So the next question is from James Rogensky. When it comes to designing on my DIY projects, I try to pay attention to what I spend my money on most and where I tend to see a gap in my needs. Along with that, I also try to make it to where my my DIY projects are composed of things that you already have at home. Nikki Badia asks, what is your favorite movie? I can literally rewatch it like hundreds of times. It's Kiki's Delivery Service. Emily Wallen asks, do I live in a house or an apartment? I currently live in an apartment, but in about three weeks, I am going to be moving to a house, so you will see a new background pretty soon. Epic Elizabeth Six asks, what would you name your first child? If I had a daughter, I would name her either Emma or Nina because I think they're really simple, short, and sweet. If I had a boy, then it would probably be something short as well and something with a German origin. I just really like German names. So the next question is from Elia Valencia and she is in a situation where she's being picked on for something that she stands for. And all I have to say about this is you don't need to 
key people in your life who make you feel badly about yourself. You know, those aren't really friends. So just find yourself some new friends. Find people that you have more commonalities with. Also, there's nothing wrong with standing up for yourself, you know? If someone says something mean and you have a legitimate argument against it, stand up for yourself. Don't let yourself be walked all over. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below and perhaps they will show up in my next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Be well and sweet styling.